right, everybody, how you doing? Today I want to go over something real quick in police stops, and this one is going to deal briefly with roadblocks. Because roadblocks are only permitted to investigate traffic stops or if they are looking for someone specific and they still have guidelines in which the search then has to be conducted. Let's go. Okay, the first case that we're going to go over is Illinois versus Lidster. 540-US-419-2004. It's a simple case because what it says is the Fourth Amendment permits the police to use a roadblock to investigate traffic incidents. And again, basically, that's one of the clauses because there is damage to property. Technically, that is a crime. They have to stop. And base one of the things they can look for are witnesses. Another thing is others that may have been involved in that accident. So the roadblocks are permitted in that sense. Now, how they search is again, going back to Fourth Amendment reasons, because they have to have a verified reason to be searching your vehicle in any other manner versus did you see anything or is there any damage to the vehicle that you're in? That's it. The next case is the city of Indianapolis v. Edmond, 531 U.S. 32 2000. Ruled the police checkpoint set up for the purpose of general crime control were unreasonable under the Fourth Amendment. Now, understanding what that means, the first part is the fact that if you're just stopping people and there is no particular person of interest or damage to anybody's property, because you remember, Sheriff V. Cullen explained for a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. So if there is no element of a crime and they're just stopping people, it is unconstitutional. And as we just went over in the immunity video, they waive their immunity because they're doing something that is unconstitutional and they are no longer officers of the law. Now, the last one is one that I actually really like and it's Delaware v. Prowse, 440 U.S. 648-1979. The United States Supreme Court held that police may not stop motorists without any probable cause to suspect crime or illegal activity to check a driver's license or auto registration. And, and I'm also going to throw in this one last one. And it's simply because it's about a profiling case. Because it falls under Delaware v. Prowse, but it's generalized towards immigrants. And here's here's what is United States v. Brignoni Ponce, 422 U.S. 873, 1975. Now, the gist of this case is the fact that an officer cannot pull over a car simply because the occupants are from another country. And in this case, the occupants were believed to be from Mexico. So it was not permissible. It was an unconstitutional act, even though they were not they were not suspected to be citizens. So understand, this is still they still have to act in a certain manner, whether you are a citizen or not. So keep that in mind. Understand the roadblocks. They have to still have probable cause of a crime. If they don't, sorry about your luck. Next time.